from somewhere. But I, I got so I took a picture of that and took a couple of pictures of Marge. One I zoomed in on as much as my camera phone would, so you could tell it was her. But um, then I took a picture of the thing itself, just so I can say, yeah, that's where I was. But as I was going up, I'd say I was about halfway up, and I encountered a young woman. I, I would say she was 32, 34, something like that. And she was just gripping the center pole of the circular stairway. And I thought she was waiting for me. And, and I said, oh, well, you can go by. And she goes, no, you're going to have to go. And I thought, what What does she mean by that? So I just, it was, you know, it was vaguely unfriendly. But I couldn't tell what she was really saying. So I, I passed her by and I kind of looked at her and I realized as I was passing her, it's very, I mean, just barely two people can fit past each other on this stairway too. Very skinny stairway. She was gripping that center thing white knuckled. I think she was in terror. And when I got near the top, there was a, uh, a fellow in his like mid thirties. It seemed like it was her husband. I figured out. He said to me, "Is there anyone else coming up?" And I, this is before I realized it was her husband. And I said, uh, "Well, there's somebody back there." And I just kept going. Then I, I there was a landing. Then that I paused to catch my breath on. And these other people came up. In the meantime. And he said the same thing to them. He said, is there anyone else coming up back there? And uh, they said, no, no, some, you know, I don't know what they said, but it was just kind of a, I don't think they understood what he was asking either. So they go by and I see him kind of looking real concerned. He just starts back down. And I think that it was that woman's husband and she was just freaking out from the height. She was looking down at how that's something you should not do. Yeah. I, I tried not to do that. I just yeah, those, focused on the steps right yeah, ahead of me. Those open stairways, you know, even if they're in an enclosed thing like a lighthouse, that doesn't bother me as much as if it was completely open, you know, because I, yeah, yeah. I definitely have a uh, uh, acrophobia, acrophobia, not agoraphobia. Yeah. But, and I don't have claustrophobia, but still it's, it's a weird thing when you're in those closed spaces and you're you're going up a, a stairway you know you can't fall through but yeah. when you see that when you look down if, if the wrought iron is is open work you know and yeah. you, can, you can see it I can't do it I have a very I could if I made myself but if I don't have to I won't do it yeah so well, so anyway we decided after yeah. that we need to get some some cold water yeah. so we bought some some water and yeah. frozen Key lime pie, chocolate covered free frozen key lime pie on a stick. Yeah, which we finally been, had some. Had some. We've been waiting to get that ever it's, since uh, I heard about it online that they sell it down here at the Polar Bear, Polar Bear ice cream shop. which is right on the corner by our place. Which I want to go there again tomorrow and get some. Yeah. Because I, at all the ice cream places that we've been to, and there's a ton here, and we've been to a, a handful. Little, handful the, the polar bear ice cream yeah, is really it's, it's, it's real good it's really nice it's very nice and creamy the other ones were all fine yeah but very very good ice cream yeah real creamy and, uh, and then after that we did a little shopping and a very aggressive saleswoman make it very difficult for me to leave the shop without buying some linen pants, linen pants. but i did not i escaped her clutches and then we discovered this little square and Marge decided to get her nails done, get a, a pedicure and a manicure. Yeah, and I think we the place was called the headquarters, I That's think. Cool. Yeah. There were Or no, was it headline? It was headlines. Headlines? Yes. It was um, one of, there were two different nail places, nail and hair and makeup places in that little square. Um, I think it's called Truman, it's called Truman Square. Yes. Truman yes. Square. And it's kind of kitty corner on the other side of the street from our hotel, maybe a block probably block down sort of yeah sort of might say kitty corner um and got a manicure and a pedicure there my my 
uh, person who did my nails was named Cassandra. She did a really, Hello, really, Cassandra. Shout out really to you. good job. Nice yeah. manicure and pedicure. In the meantime, I, I went and got another giant bottle of water from the Circle K. And I got a copy of the Miami Herald and I bought some pens. And I did an entire crossword puzzle watching these parrots squawk murderously. But it was great fun. There was a couple red macaws and a blue macaw. And one of the red macaws and the blue macaw, I think, were like a boyfriend, girlfriend. And they, they were very affectionate to each other. But boy, did they lie. I don't even want to imitate how they sound loud. <laughs> and people would jump when they would squawk <laughs> like that. But I didn't hear them say anything. I did not hear the parrots say anything. So finally March came out. It was what, like you were in there like an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, yeah. They said, that they said it would take about 45 minutes. But I, after a while, I knew, one hour, I, yeah. I knew that it was uh, it was definitely more than, they, taking they, more than 45 minutes. But it, it was... was a, it was real nice. It was really, for you it was really, yeah. These they, they served you wine. Yeah, I got, I got two glasses of wine and you got a little uh, loopy. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, on the way back, we made a, a quick stop. I wanted to buy some, some soda for the room, and we stopped at the CVS. And I, I, Marge had to go to the washroom, and, and so I found out where the washrooms were. Yeah. They're stuck way in the back, and so she's the washroom, and I said. You know, oh, honey, will you watch my pop? I just want to uh, watch my soda. That's what I meant by pop, by the way. Um, I had it in a cart. I said, I have to use the washroom, too. So she said, sure. So I go and I, I try the handle on the door of the men's room, and it's just tucked away. It's in a little nook in the back of the store. Nobody would. It's a very private area. It led to the uh, stock room, I saw. And so I said, oh, God. I saw... You know, the occupants of the women's john changed a couple times. While I, and I thought, maybe I didn't turn it. Maybe it was open. And I, So I go over there, and I try the handle again. And it's like, no, there's somebody in there. Gosh darn it. So I'm just waiting. And, and all of a sudden, I, I can hear the, the handle of the door move. I say, oh, thank God. Now I can go to the washroom. And the door opens up. And uh, this young guy walks out. And behind him all, all comes a girl. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Wait, there was a girl in the men's room. How? What? And I went, oh, I get it. I get it. There, something was happening. Some romance was happening in the, in the men's room at the CVS in Key West. Well, that just shows you this is, this is a wild place. It's a wild place in Key West. Yeah. And then it was a, a delightful surprise. We came back to our room. Uh, the front desk of our motel knew that it was our, our silver anniversary, our 25th anniversary. Sitting on the nightstand was a bucket of champagne. Yeah. A bucket, bucket of ice with a bottle of champagne. Bottle of champagne and two, two, two champagne flutes. Yeah, and a, nice and a little, little card, card. That said, you know, happy 25th anniversary the front desk and, and the housekeeping. And, housekeeping. Mm -hmm. and so we yeah. went and we drank that bottle. Yeah, and we had a drunken, we couple of drunken play. games of Yahtzee. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then yeah. went that, in the room and... Boy, did we sleep. And, in fact, when we came out this evening, we went to Sloppy Joe's, yeah. Hemingway's hangout. Um, we, we, actually, we were going to go to Captain Tony's, which was the original Sloppy Joe's. Now it's called, it was the original site of Sloppy right, Joe's. Right, right. It's now called Captain Tony's. But... Um, it was not. It didn't seem like it was serving food. And there. We were really starving. And we, at this you know, point. and I had had. I wasn't going to have any alcohol tonight because I had enough with my wine at the spa at the uh, salon, and then uh, the champagne. Right. I decided I wasn't going to have any more alcohol. That's but, probably a good call. But I, I had a beer, but I'd it, hardly had any. Well, neither of us had hardly had anything to eat no, today. No. So we we both had the the, the original. Like on a stick. Yeah. The original Sloppy Joe sandwich. Boy, that was good. Which was good. It's like you know ground, yeah, ground hamburger with spices and on a bun, and yeah. was really good. Just, just what the doctor ordered. I just had Diet Coke. You had a dogfish, yep, beer or dog dogfish head, dogfish head, dogfish head ale, and uh, it was good. It was the first time I ever tried that. I've heard about it for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And it was just something non-traditional. So I said, oh yeah. They said that up at Tribes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, 
Oh, we just did. A nice. Uh, as you can see, we're on a, a boardwalk out here. Okay. Some passing people there. Mm -hmm. But um, here we had that. I'm nice and full now. We had onion rings and sloppy joes, and it's like, uh, yeah. I need. You know what? I need some sloppy tums. Yeah, and I don't have them with me. Oh, we're, they are back at the room. We'll be, we'll be heading back there momentarily. Momentarily, yeah. And uh, this is uh, the final five minutes of the podcast. Can you think of any, any other stories you want to get into? Anything happened last night? We want to talk about anything uh, on the island that we didn't talk about? Anything in our walk today? Or, or something that... Um, well, um, we're... As far as our walk today, we were intending to walk down to the to the little White House, right? Till we realized how far it really was from the Lighthouse Museum, which I, I thought it was closer. And I'm my sense of direction is really yeah, bad. it's really down here. And it, yeah, it's really it's just like two blocks yeah, around the corner. So we are going to we're try to do that tomorrow because we, we've kind of figured out the parking here. You park and it's expensive, but your parking you get place hours. you get twenty four hours of parking. Pretty much, you know, we're in Mallory Square right, parking lot. If you park lot. in the same place, then you don't have, then to, repay. You don't have to repay. repay. So tomorrow we're going to come back down here, park at Mallory Square, go over to the little White House, and then maybe do some souvenir shopping here uh, in the square. Yep. And I don't the shipwreck. There's the shipwreck museum here too, which we maybe could take in or not. But there's a down on Mallory Square here where people there. That's where they gather for the sunset every night and all that. Yeah. It's, it's full of shops and full of little restaurants and snack well, yeah, when bars. When we first arrived tonight, there was a like a fire juggling guy yeah. on a unicycle doing his little stage show. And they're like, I think he's like Ben. What was I his think, name? I don't. Remember? I can't think of his name, but I think they talked about him or somebody like him when we went by the pier yesterday, by the was, square yesterday. Oh, was it? Um, uh, or was it the glass bottom boat tour? Either one. I think both. Okay. Well, yeah. Anyway, this guy was just finishing his jack, but then there, across the way there was like another guy yeah. doing, uh, like he was like a competing fire juggler. He, didn't, yeah. he, he wasn't up on a giant stage, though. He was down uh, lower. And then this other guy was roping off a stage area with actual rope, and he started ringing a bell. Yeah. Or was, that, was, that a, was it a bell or something that he was ringing? Oh, blowing a whistle. He was That's blowing what he a whistle. That's he was blowing a whistle. Say, over here, over here. You know, yeah. I have a show starting. Mm -hmm. So th I guess down here, the pier is just a place for shows. Mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. it, uh, let's see. And the and local, a lot of a lot of fire a lot of, and a lot of like local law. They in order to exhibit their stuff at, on the square at night, they have to be a local artisan or you know a local person. So you can see a lot of you know. Things made out of coral and things, you know, yeah, and whatnot. And then and, you and see, you know, caricature artists, yeah, and the, mm -hmm. psychics. There's like yeah, a lot of psychic a lot tables, of, a lot of psychics, and um, not to be confused with sidekicks. There's the yeah. sidekicks had a table too, uh, but yeah. But here's a, what you a yeah. boats coming in through the dark. Oh, it's, oh and we're right across from. Uh, I think we talked about this island across the way, didn't we? With the million dollar. Yeah. Sunset Key, which is right. A lot of uh, very upscale mm -hmm. real estate. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like a private uh, mm -hmm. cruiser, yeah. party boat, private party. And there, I bet there's some alcohol flowing out there. Yeah. Hey, there they oh, go. Looks Enjoy. nice. Oh, it, it is, is a nice. beautiful, it's beautiful night, beautiful. and oh, the the, uh, the breeze is beautiful, mm -hmm. lovely, and. Uh, the stars are coming out. And it's really, much the, up. The sea is calm. Yeah, and speaking of calm, uh, the Duval Street yes. is much is calmer great. than it was. They had a songwriters convention or songwriters uh, celebration yeah. this weekend. A lot of live music.